Hey everybody, I wanted to kind of show you how to install drone camera for a set of Corsa. Um, kind of how to use it. I uh, won't go too in depth, but I'll give you the basics. So you're going to go to race department, which I'll link down in the description. Uh, once you go there, you know, make sure you're logged in. Uh, that way you can download it. Uh, it'll be drone camera 1.2.2. Uh, you'll go right here to download, click it. It'll start downloading up in here if you're on Chrome. Uh, once that does finish downloading, you can go into the folder or just drag and drop from right here. You're gonna drag it, drop it into Content Manager. Once you're there, you're gonna hit the three lines. Downloads, you'll see it here pop up. You'll hit Install once it's done. Once it is done, You'll go to your settings, go to apps, you'll see IS drone camera here. You'll click the check mark, make sure it's highlighted. Uh, all of this we'll get into once we're in a replay. Uh, but that's how you activate it and everything. So we're just going to go to this drift session that I was in, uh, that I saved the replay for. So we'll go ahead and hit play. Uh, before you do all that, uh, you want to have if you have a PS4 controller, you're gonna you're gonna want to have uh, DS4 Windows, which is free, and uh, you can use Bluetooth or a wired connection. And uh, you'll just hit a default setup, and it'll work fine. Uh, pretty much emulates an Xbox 360 controller, which uh, is what this app is set up for. Is that controller? So, I have it here already popped up, but if you go into all apps, go to drone camera, and there's also drone settings below it. The uh, drone camera settings are for like field of view, uh, controller dead zone, and smoothing. Uh, you can change how fast the drone is. Uh, that's something you'll have to figure out what you like. Uh, to get this actually turned on with the PS4 controller, you're going to hit options. Now the drone camera is enabled. Auto uh, depth of field is enabled right now, which is the share button. It's kind of glitchy on this map for some reason. But uh, so we're activated, we're moving around with the joysticks. You can move up and down with the triggers. Uh, R2, L2 goes up and down, and then R1, L1 does uh, your tilt, or roll. Uh, so we're going to find a car to follow. Uh, we'll just pick this one. So you're going to hit triangle, and it's going to show the follow target near, which is actually this one. So we're going to try and move over here. So this is actually my car. Press triangle, it'll say locked. Now it's going to follow that car. Turn this down a little bit so you can hear. Okay, so we're following my car right now. So follow car enabled, heading lock enabled, and then heading mode uh, set to movement, which basically makes it like a a gyro, essentially. See so, yeah, the camera doesn't move, but the car does. We'll change that. Now it's the yaw, so it's locked on to how the car's position is. Now you can still move on either one. But, uh, for certain shots, uh, it's better to use one or the other. For stuff like you see in Formula Drift, I like to use the movement mode. It's a lot more free. You can get around like this. I'm a terrible driver, we'll fall someone else. Follow this guy. So 
So this camera, you can actually get into the car. So I'm going to switch it to yaw mode. That way it locks on. And you can have essentially custom camera modes or positions. It works really well. On top of that, you can actually change the field of view if you want. And that'll bring the background forward or back more and it'll either shorten or widen the way the car looks in a way. You can see more or less on the sides of, of the screen. And then, uh, depth of field mode. So you click that on with the share button. It acts to autofocus onto the object you want. You can change depth of field up or down. That pretty much changes the blurriness of the background. online while playing with other people. Uh, you can do it in replay mode, single player. Anywhere where you can access your apps you can use it. Which is really nice. That's about it. It's a great app to use for cinematic stuff and uh, any drift comps that you want to cover. It's great for that. It's fun just to watch everybody. You can even go way up in the air. Just watch the whole track. Just like that. Super easy app to use. Uh, I use it pretty often. Just trying to get different uh, camera angles while I'm moving take photos and uh that's about it if you have any questions or anything let me know in the comments um trying to continue making more videos get back into the groove of it uh let me know if there's anything else that you want to see any installs and uh i'll keep on trying to give the content thanks for watching